So exponential law number six. Now if we have a to the power of m over n, so this is equivalent to a to the power of m to the root of n. So the m here, the numerator, is actually the power and the denominator of the exponent is the root. So let's see the example 6. If we have 2 to the power of 3 over 2, so by using law number 3, we can actually extract the 3 out. So it will be 2 to the power of 1 over 2 to the power of 3. So what is 2 to the power of 1 over 2? We mentioned earlier, this is the square root of 2. So square root of 2 multiplied by 3 times. Therefore, we write square root of 2 multiplied by 3 times. And from here, then we can simplify as 2 square root to the power of 3. All right, therefore, from here, we can make a conclusion that the denominator is the root and the numerator shows the power. Okay, exponential law number seven. Now, before that, uh, what we have, we have only one base, all right, which is A. But now, we are going to consider two bases. So if we have two bases, A and B, so AB means A multiplied B, bracket to the power of N. So this is actually the same as A to the power of N, multiply B to the power of N. We can actually distribute the N to A and to B. Right, example seven, if we have AB bracket square, so it means that we have a multiplied b multiplied two times. a times b, a times b, two times. So when we open the bracket, we have a, b, a, b. And then we have a multiplied a, a square, b multiplied b, b square. So a, b bracket square is a square, b square. So we can actually just distribute the power to the basis. Exponential law number eight. Now similarly, if we have a over b to the power of n, we can simply distribute the power to the basis a to the power of n over b to the power of n. All right, so if we have a over b square, Right, so for square, we multiply this a over b two times. So a multiply a, we have a square, and b multiply b, we have b square. And therefore, right from here, we can see we can simply just distribute the power. Now, exponential law number nine and number ten, they are relatively simple. So if we have a to the power of zero, it is equals to one. What does that mean? It means that the base can be any value. It can be 2, it can be 10, it can be pi. But if the power is 0 or if the exponent is 0, the answer we get is always 1. Right? Let's take a look on this example. a to the power of 3 divided by a to the power of 3. Now on the right hand side, we can always change this using the exponential law number 2. We change the divide to subtraction. So we have 3 minus 3 and it is 0. So on the right hand side, we can actually just simplify this. So we have a to the power of 3 divided by a to the power of 3. We know when we have two same entity and divide, we will get always get 1. And from here, we know that a to the power of 0 is 1. So exponential law number 10, a to the power of 1 is a, as we mentioned earlier. All right, a to the power of 1 means that we multiply a once. So if a is multiplied once, it means that it's always, it's always a only. 
let's take a look uh, at the example 10. So if we have a to the power of 3 divided by a square, so using exponential law number 2, we can change the division to the subtraction of the exponent. So we have 3 minus 2. So when we have 3 minus 2, we have 1. And from here, we simplify a multiplied 3 times, a multiplied 2 times. Simplify, we have a. So we can see here, a to the power of 1 is always a. So remember, any number, if the power is 1, you will always get back the value itself. So basically, we have this 10 exponential law. They are extremely important for us uh, to simplify the exponential expression. So we are going to uh, look at some example later.